Alright, so Mike is picking him up and putting him in this box. The box is a little small for him, but this is literally all he had in the truck. Hi, baby. I'm so sorry. People are so mean. But look at how cute this is. I don't even want to cover it all the way because the cats obviously walk into the tack room last night. And this is like, okay, I have to read the little kitty prints. It's so cute. Like, hey, farm fam. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new, welcome. So today is a video that you all have been waiting for and so have I. It's another barn update, you guys. I don't even wanna do a long intro because I wanna get right into this. So let's just go ahead and get right into this barn update. Guys, if you guys are excited to see this barn update just like I am, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up right now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications and let's get right into this barn update. All right, you guys, so like I just said, the moment we've all been waiting for. And you guys know the big one, but we're gonna be working on a couple other things in this vlog. Um, I am super sweaty and rained on, cause it's been raining. And, um, but I'm so excited about this, so we're gonna go with this and we're gonna do this video and we're gonna keep working through this rain. Are you guys, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? And boom, we have concrete, you guys. You know that this was like a huge waiting game for this concrete but this was a big step because a lot of things were put on hold until we had the concrete but oh my gosh i'm in love let me back up here so that i can try to show you it as a whole hold on this barn is so big it's hard to get everything in the shot there we go so we did this little angle right here because we thought it would be cuter and i'll put some landscaping and like flowers around it i don't know but we have all the concrete right here and this is going to be in front of the barn obviously and then over here in this area where the tractor is, Mike and I are actually gonna tackle that project, like I said, and we're gonna concrete that area, and that area is gonna be our wash rack. But now, we're gonna go in the barn because there's a lot more concrete, and it's really starting to look like a barn right now. There's no electric in the barn, so that's one of the big things that we have to do. So it's gonna be a little bit dark in here, but we also need to make windows, and it'll be brighter in here, but anyways. <laughs> here is the alleyway. The dream alleyway barn. So we have a full concreted alleyway all the way out and to the back right here. This little lip, it's just like a foot past the barn as you can see. And then all the way into here. And then as you can see, all the stalls kind of have a lip. I'll show you. So as you can see, the concrete is like four inches taller. And that's the point because as I've explained this, the flooring is like super hard packed dirt. So now we have these four inches to fill it with bedding. And then going back over here, this area, this 12 by 12 area is concrete as well. This is where we'll put the tractor and all extra hay and any other supplies that we have, like our feeding cart and stuff will go here. I'm super excited for this little storage area. And then we have the tack room, but there's something really weird. So we were not home when the concrete company did this. And um, they have this little step thing. So if we open up the tack room, we're not gonna show you that just yet. But as you can see, the door would technically drag, I guess, on top of the concrete. So they went ahead and just created this little, you know, nook or whatever, which I get the concept, but this is super unsafe in my opinion. Whoops, that was loud. <laughs> I'm close the right way. Because, um, yes, we're gonna have mats and stuff like this, and the horses will not always be going in here, but if the horses ever do come through here, this is just like a huge tripping hazard for horses and myself. And I was telling Mike, if anyone trips on this first, it'll be me, and I will roll my ankle, and it will really hurt, and I'll be falling off concrete. But I don't need anything obstructing this alleyway for horses to walk through if for any chance they ran through it or something like that, and this is a no-no for me. So I understand, though, they did not want to cut our door because that would be kind of weird if they cut our building without you know permission I guess so that's what we're gonna do today also in this vlog is we are cutting this door so we're just gonna make it shorter and we are putting concrete up to level with the other concrete because this is just a little silly in my opinion no big deal it's very fixable but we're gonna go ahead and take this door off like I just said and we're gonna cut it we're just gonna trim the bottom but then you guys, this is the tack room. It's completely concrete. So you know what that means? We are gonna be doing a whole cleaning out the feed shed like I had been telling you guys we were gonna do. I'm so excited to do that. It's so gross in there right now. So then we're gonna put all of our tack and feed in our new feed and tack room, which I'm so excited about. We still have a lot to do in here though. We are going to insulate it in here 
and we are going to put a window shaker in here so that there's AC so the tack is nice and the feed doesn't go moldy or anything like that. So this is what we're working with. This is a concreted tack room, so exciting. And then when you walk out of this door, so let me just close this door to get the full effect. Okay, so if you were to walk out this door in front of the barn, then there's concrete. And this is the angle right here that I was telling you guys about that just gives it like a pretty finish. And then over here, and there's a sitting mic. <laughs> and this is the barn with the concrete i'm so excited you guys so we need to get to working on the barn so let's get right into it all right so it's getting dark y'all but we're gonna go ahead and mike is gonna remove the door here we go the door's gonna fall on you <laughs> oh how heavy is it? it looks so not heavy at all no oh, it's not heavy no cool all right you guys so it's concrete mixing time so we're gonna pretend like we know what we're doing. Yeah, for the record, we've never done this <laughs> thing before. We do use this concrete a lot though when we make um, our fences, so we do know that concept. We've just never put it on a pad or anything like that, so should be fine, right? So the concrete is in. Now we have our water. Beautiful. And now we mix. We have R, you guys. We're gonna finish mixing this and we will be back and we are ready to pour it. Got the mixture and it's concrete pouring time. <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing and it's like really laid out right now, so. Barn things, you know. We're definitely gonna need a lot more concrete than this. <laughs> so that's like three quarters of a bag, you think? Something like that, yeah. Of concrete. And now we plow. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. But there's the concept. Beautiful. All right, you guys, so it's the next day. Let's check out our concrete. So it's definitely like a little bit different color, but we're not done. This is more gray. So this is like more of like a sand mixed concrete and this is more like a rocky mixed concrete. But um, as you can see, it's still like unlevel right there because we left some to put um, the sand mix concrete on so it should look a little bit better but it doesn't matter anyways we're gonna put mats all down this whole thing anyways but look at how cute this is i don't even want to cover it all the way because the cats obviously walked into the tack room last night and this is just like amazing i have to leave the little kitty prints it's so cute like that's a full-on little cat print right there it's so cute and it's like so us so I don't think we're gonna like cover over that, but obviously over here and to make all this level and make it look better, um, we're gonna cover. So I just think that's so adorable. It's just perfect. And they just came and visited the tack room. And of course that'll be like where they can hang out too in the tack room. So it'll be so cute because there's little cat prints. I love it. <laughs> all right, you guys. So we just got back from getting this hay and it's gonna be our first time using the barn for a new hay. I'm so excited. So surreal, you guys. So the hay is in the barn. Oh my gosh, I wish we had like all the hay that we had in the old shed. But this is just a start. We couldn't really fit any more in the truck because we got a really exciting package today that has to do with the stalls of the barn. So I'm so excited. But yeah, it's very exciting, you guys, um, to see this in our barn. It seems nice and enclosed. I don't know. It's just a very happy feeling because we're actually getting able to use the barn. But it's really coming along, you guys. So this is the package that I've been waiting for. We ordered this so long ago and it's so crazy. It just came in today and the concrete got done yesterday. So it's like perfect timing. So this is, like I said, like the framing of our stalls and you'll see what I'm talking about soon um, when we get the stalls up. So basically this was on a freight. So what that means is like a big semi truck and it was gonna get to our house later, but then we went and actually picked it up because we were super excited once it got like close to our town. So yeah, 
This is over 100 pounds, so that's why Mike and I both had to carry it, and it's like a box full of metal. So we are going to now open up the box, um, do a quick little unboxing, and get started on the stalls. I'm so excited, guys. If you are excited for the stalls that's happening, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up right now. If you guys are excited, all right, let's get into this box. Who knew we could be so excited for a box? So Mike has to just cut these little braces off, I guess. Mike, how excited are you for these? Are you excited? Now, we just need to take the tape off. See you <laughs> It's fine, everything's fine. Maybe not, that's pretty strong. Uh... Pretty strong tape, we might need to use the grinder to get the tape off. We don't have anything with us in this barn right now, so. All right, the box is opening. Guys, it's like probably not gonna be that exciting once I'm hyping this up like this. <laughs> Here we go. So we're all seeing this together at the same time. <laughs> so this is how silly of what I was so happy for. So uh, let me explain. These are channels. So they will be mounted to these metal beams that we have. And then the wood will basically just slide right into it so it has a really nice look. And if we ever wanted to take the stalls out and make them like bigger stalls, we would just pull um, the wood out, if that makes sense. You'll see once more once we um, actually bolt them, but they're really tall. I think I got like eight foot ones. So for example, Mike's holding it kind of how it will be. So it will just get bolted to the beam here and then see the channel. And then one will get bolted right here and then the 12 foot board across will just kind of slide right in. Guys, so we're in the truck and we were driving and Mike loves turtles. I mean, like we love turtles, but Mike loves turtles and he always stops to literally save the turtles from when they're crossing the road. And he literally slid on his brakes, pulls over to the side of the road and he's walking to get the turtle and some freaking jerk hits the turtle right in front of Mike while he was about to save him and he's so messed up and but we have him he's actually in the bed of the truck he's a soft shell turtle so he's like kind of like a snapping turtle um but in my area we have something called crow which is like a wildlife rehabilitation um for like wild animals obviously so we're bringing him to the vet which is like a drop off for crow but he's really messed up you guys um i will show you guys him when we get to the vet um, but I'll also give you guys a disclaimer because he's pretty messed up. I'm not sure if he'll even make it. We want to give him a fighting chance. So we are bringing him to the drop off. All right, you guys, before I show you, this is your warning. It's pretty bad. So if you don't want to see blood and a hurt animal, don't watch for the next 10 seconds or more. So this is him. He's a soft shell turtle. These are very common in Florida. And he was probably fine. And we were about to save him. And a car hit him. Oh, he looks terrible. Poor guy, but we were dropping him off at the vet, like I said, um, to go to the wildlife rehab. So we gotta get him into a box to bring him in. All right, so Mike is picking him up and putting him in this box. The box is a little small for him, but this is literally all we have in the truck. Hi, baby, I'm so sorry. People are so mean. Watch your, watch your fingers, Mike. Oh, poor guy. Hi, Bubba's. Here for good breathing, um, but he is in the box so he doesn't climb out. We get to the bed. So I don't know if he'll make it or not, but we are leaving the vet. We dropped him off. We had to fill out some paperwork for the um, vet for him to go to the rehab facility. So I don't really know if we'll ever get like an update. I did put my information and stuff, but bummed about him. I don't know if he's gonna make it or not, but he was not in very good shape, so pretty bummed, but we did our best that we could. <sighs> that was not a good day for that turtle. All right, you guys, we're getting like half of the wood that we need. I forgot to film in the store. We were just trying to get all the wood and count it. We originally needed 75 boards. They didn't have that many. So basically we took every board that they had out of the store and we got 42 boards, so we need 33 boards still and they have um the forklift dropping it into the bed of the truck 
so we're getting every word that they have. All right, you guys, so I'm going to stop here on this vlog because we have so much other stuff to do, and I don't want to make this, like, a huge, long vlog. And I want to kind of put these in series that we can kind of follow because I feel like this first vlog is going to be all over the place because we're kind of just, like, figuring out what projects to do first. We're getting really excited because now we can do so many different things. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one. And the next one, we should be doing the stalls. So if you guys are excited for this series, if you guys liked today's video of getting the barn ready for the stalls and everything, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you have a chance to be my post notification shout out. Today's shout out is, all right you guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.